So Apple has released watchOS 11.0.1 to the public and here is everything that they address. So on this screenshot these updates are usually pretty minor in scale when they do like a .0.1 uh, hopefully we'll see watchOS 11.1 come out later October along with iOS 18.1 hopefully we get a bunch of cool new features with those. However this time around we just have some different bug fixes so First off, Apple Watch may unexpectedly restart for some users. I have not had that issue. This is a Series 6 watch, by the way. So I haven't had that issue, uh, thankfully. The next one is the music app may unexpectedly quit when loading media. Also have not had that issue. Battery may drain more quickly than expected. Uh, the Series 6 does have a pretty degraded battery, so I'm not going to blame the lower battery life on that necessarily but you can see that it's 9 30 p.m. this thing came off the charger at about uh, maybe nine o'clock this morning it's down to 38 percent sometimes that number is much lower sometimes it's higher it just kind of depends on how you use your watch throughout the day so I'm not blaming that uh, the battery may drain more quickly that was actually on the newer watches like series 9 series 10 I saw a lot of people complaining uh, about that. The thing here is that the touch screen may become unresponsive for some Apple Watch Series 9, Series 10, and Ultra 2 users. There was a similar issue on iPhone with iPhone 16s and 16 Pros with the touch screen becoming unresponsive so if you were having those problems that should be fixed now. And this was also in iOS 18.1 messages may unexpectedly quit when replying to a message with a shared Apple Watch face. So if you were having that issue or any of these other ones hopefully they're all fixed and ready to go now of course with all those updates there are security updates so if we go to Apple's support page we scroll down we actually see that it says there are no published CVE entries now that doesn't mean that Apple didn't didn't fix anything security wise they might just not want to tell us what they fixed but anyways that's basically everything new here again these are all minor updates they also came out with Safari, watchOS, macOS, visionOS, and of course iOS. So there's several new updates finally. These took a while to come out, but it's nice to see that they're finally out. So let me know if those issues have been fixed for you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.